Today marks the 25th anniversary of the largest art heist, a whodunit mystery based here in Boston. At Elizabeth Stewart Gardner Museum, BUTV reporter Haley Krembleholm is here in studio with the latest. In the wee hours of St. Patrick's Day 1990, two thieves disguised as police officers entered Boston's Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. They stole over a dozen paintings worth an estimated $500 million. To mark the 25th anniversary, the museum has created this virtual tour to feature the paintings stolen from the museum. Started here in the wee hours of March 18, 1990 when two men stole 13 works of art worth an estimated $500 million, including three Rembrandts and the only Vermeer in all of New England. I don't think anybody knows exactly the whereabouts. They do know rumors, suggestions, innuendo. Author Stephen Kirkjian has been investigating the heist for over 20 years and discusses possible leads to the case in his new book, Master Thieves. What do you think it is about this particular theft that has made it so hard for the FBI to solve. You know, when dealing with stories like this, they're very um, sensitive, and you've got to proceed very carefully. And for the man who stole it, my belief is, is they're in the middle of a gang war. There was lots of people on both soldiers on both sides of this war, both families that were fighting, excuse me, both gangs that were fighting, that were casualties. And my sense is that these individuals, the two or three, suffered the fate of, of others in their uh, gangs and were killed. Though the whereabouts of the paintings remain unknown, Kirkjian is hopeful they will still be returned. Even though it has been 25 years later, um, and there has been endless hours of investigative work and commitment, man and women power put to this case, I do, in fact, am optimistic. In his book, Kirkjian presents new leads to solving what remains one of the FBI's longest unsolved art crimes. There is still a $5 million reward for information leading to the recovery of these works of art.